Oh my god, Sir Stable. You just want to bleed me dry of star coins. everyone and welcome to today's update video. Today we have seven new horse coat variations of already existing breeds which I'm so excited to check out but before we do that I figured we would go ahead and talk about Miss Haldsworth information that she had found up for us this week and it is apparently about the Vala and apparently some mysterious stories how they got here how they traveled from wherever they came from long ago. So this is going to be really interesting. And I don't know if we'll be level 24 or not, but um, probably not. That'll probably be next week once um, the quest line comes. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's hop right into this and start off with the story stack and go check out these new horses. So let's go. How is he Historia Compre oh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Nope. Not even gonna try it at all. Yeah, exactly, Alex. My thoughts exactly. Big Book of Witches, okay. They migrated to Yorvik long ago, even earlier even than Jan Jarl. Perhaps around the same time as the Calter. Interesting. Finland or the northern for, for or the forests of Norber, northern Germany. What happened between the Vala and Jan Jarl? On that dark day, in, the few remaining Vala gathered deep in the heart of Devil's Gap, their hearts bent upon vengeance, and despite and spite for their trespasses committed by Jan Jarl and his household, they curse lands about their mountain retreat, laying a Wasting curse upon the once fertile field of fields and forests surrounding it. Ah, oh, so that's why all the surrounding farms, like the Dew's farm, can't grow anything. The curse came with a great price. It also affected the health of the wild weave and prevented the restoration of life warden trees. This combined with the required magic to seal and enclave against intruders resulted in strict leash upon the Vala's mobility across Yorvik. Interesting. Trapped within the confines of Devil's Gap. Oh, these are all good things to... Yeah, let's ask that. How is he 
tragic. Curses are always tragic. Interesting story. And yep, it looks like next week will be level 24, you guys. Um, not today, but that's fine because we got new horses to check out. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, you guys, so now we are going to check out the seven different horses, seven new coat variations. So, we have an English thoroughbred that can be found at Marley's. We have an Appaloosa that can be found at Starshine Ranch, as well as an American Quarter Horse. An Irish Cob, yes, I'm very excited for that one, that can be found in Valedale. Uh, there are two Icelandics in New Hill Crest, and a Pasifino can be found at Steve's Farm. So, we're gonna, since we're already in New Hill Crest, we're gonna check out the Icelandic horses first. And we'll go from there, so let's go check them out. Oh, I already see them. Alright, so what do we got here? We got a Bay and a Bay Pinto. Oh, the Bay Pinto is so cute. Oh my god. How stinking cute. Wait a second, is that like... Oh, I forget what it's called, but... That is very unique looking! Oh, it's so cute. I don't know what horses I'm getting yet, but these are very, very cute! Especially this one, my goodness. Alright, so the one next to me is a bay. Alright, so it's just a simple bay, which is very nice. No white markings, it would appear, from the looks of it, but it's very cute. Obviously, it's, um... I guess kind of like an updated bay version of the Icelandic. Oh, uh, but very, very cute. They're both so adorable. Oh, they're gonna make this hard on me already. Um, and especially because my birthday is coming up, so I don't want to buy too many horses today, because I would like to buy some horses on my birthday, and I haven't had time to really train at all. But, oh, they're already making this difficult. Um, alright, so. Iceland, of course, maybe. So, we will go to, let's see, I think we'll go to Marley's farm next. So let's go. All right, you guys, we are at Marley's farm and I see a pretty Perlino. Oh my goodness, look how pretty. A gorgeous Perlino English thoroughbred. Now this is quite unique. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go directly for this one. But this is such a pretty color. And like I said, they're already making it hard already. And I haven't even seen the uh, Irish Cob yet. So this is already gonna be very difficult, I feel. But this one's absolutely beautiful. Very nice job, they're stable. Alright, you guys, we are here at Steve's farm, and we are going to check out the newest additions, and I believe we should check out the Pasifino first. And I think, oh, check out these markings, these inverted dapples. Oh my god, they're making this so difficult. Star Stable. My goodness. The nice, dark bay interverted dapples. Look at it! Oh, Star Stable, you're already making this so hard on me? Good grief. Alright. So, very pretty. I don't know how I'm going to choose now, especially because I haven't even seen the Irish Cob yet, and I know I'm going to want that one. So, let's see. I think... Oh, that's right. The Appaloosa's move to... Starshine Ranch. So, let's head to Starshine Ranch and check out the Appaloosa and the American Quarter Horse. Oh, 
Alright, you guys. So, let's check out the... Oh, God! This star stable! You're kidding me! A buckskin and a red dun? Oh, my God. You're trying to get all my star coins, and I won't let you. Oh, that's such a pretty buckskin, too! Oh, my God, star stable! You just want to bleed me dry of star coins! That's what you want to do. It's a nice, beautiful buttermilk buckskin! Oh my god! They're so pretty! Alright, so this one's gorgeous. Let's see the Appaloosa. Oh my goodness. You're kidding me. It's a gorgeous red dun. Appaloosa. Oh, Star Stable. You're at the- oh. They're so pretty! How am I supposed to choose? I haven't even seen the Irish Cob yet. Oh. Oh my god, how the heck am I supposed to choose? It's just impossible, there's no way. There's no physical way. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go see the Irish Cob and probably buy that one. And maybe I'll get a second one. Maybe. But they're all gorgeous. They're all stunning. Alright, you guys. Let's find this Irish cob. And I think I see one. It's a gorgeous fiery red chestnut. Oh my goodness. She is so pretty. Nice, beautiful, fiery red. Oh, look at that. That leg deal, leg feather detail. Oh, she's so pretty. All right, so definitely getting this one. Depending where my star coin limit is at, I will then decide which horse I'm going to buy next. But oh, such a pretty chestnut. She's so pretty. There's no way I can say no. Yeah, I can't say no. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and buy her. All right, so we're gonna make her an adult and make her obviously a mare. Um, I did have a name picked out for her, but now that I'm looking at her, like the first name that comes to mind doesn't really fit. So, let's kind of play around here. Alright, so there is this name Apple Tea. No, actually, you know what? I'm actually going to go with what I first planned on. When I first saw her. Apple Bell. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I actually like this name only because I have an autumn and I ha already have a fox. So I think Apple Bell will, will be very nice for her. So we're going to go ahead and buy her. Oh, I'm so excited. I have another Irish cob in my stable. I'm so happy. Are you sure you want to buy this horse? Yes, I am very sure. Oh, she's so pretty. So, so pretty. Alright, we'll send her to the stable. Alright, you guys, so I've made my decision. And it's gonna be the Appaloosa that comes home with us, too. Normally, I, I don't like setting myself on two horses of, like, the same color range. Um, but this horse is way too pretty for me not to say no to getting her... I thought, yeah, it's gonna be a her. So I already have a name picked out for this one, too. So, and I have a good name for this horse. One I won't back on, out on in the last second. Alright, her name is going to be Fox Amber, and I'm just going to keep the settings that she's an adult and a mare. Perfect. So we're going to get her as well, and then we are done. I don't want to buy any more horses, only because my birthday is coming up, Halloween's coming up. So all the more reasons just to kind of like postpone on getting any more horses other than this. But these are the two I really love. These are the two I'm buying. I think they're good choices. Let's go ahead and get them.
All right, you guys, so here they are. We have Apple Bell and Fox Amber. Oh, she's so pretty. I love her eye color, which is like this beautiful gold color. Let's see. I'm going to hop on her real quick so I can take a look. All right, just keep your eyes just like that. Yeah, beautiful gold color. So she is just so pretty. So, so pretty. So nice. I'm always happy to have another Irish cob in my stable. It is not a problem by me at all. All right. So she is very pretty. So let's see this pretty thing over here, which is a red dun. I don't think we have any red duns in game. No, no, we do. We do. Um, the yeah, uh, fjord horses. But out of the fjord horses, I don't think we do have like a true red dun. Oh, she is just gorgeous. Look at those markings. Oh my goodness. She is just stunning. Start stable. Very good job. Very nice. Now, I'm not obviously going to test their animations only because um, you obviously have these horses already in game. I've done um, my opinions on their animations. So if you want to go find those videos, I'll probably have them linked at the end. And obviously revealing their names at the end and whatnot. But the outro will have uh, their uh, buying videos where I give... Oh, well, no, because the Irish Cobb I never gave an opinion on, because I, I did, wasn't filming at the time. I was taking a break from filming at that time. But, obviously, all gorgeous, all wonderful. Let me see what your eye colors are, because I don't think I really looked. So, I think you have two brown eyes, which works well for this horse. I think blue eyes would... Of course, a blue eye would be cool, but um, I think the brown eyes work really well with this horse. So, again, very pretty horses. Very good job, Star Stable. I am quite impressed. Alright, you guys, so that is it for this week's update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely love these horses. It was very hard to choose. I wasn't planning to choose two horses of the same color scheme, but that's totally fine. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. These are very good early um, birthday presents, if that's what we want to call them. Uh, very gorgeous horses. Very impressed by them. They're, they did really a good job with these color selections. Um, and it's very nice to see them pump out more variations. And obviously having a break from doing like a, a remodeled breed or a new breed. So this is quite nice to see. And they are very, very gorgeous horses. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know which horse you guys bought in the comments. Obviously, you see the ones that I bought here. The Irish Cobb you can find at Veildale, and the Appaloosa you can find at Starshine Ranch. Love the horses I chose. Hopefully, you like your own horses that you guys have picked out. Obviously, you would, because why would you buy them otherwise? Um, it was very hard to choose, though. I will admit that. Obviously, my birthday is coming up. I want to buy it, like, tons of them, because there's obviously other horses I do want to buy and bring home as well. So, that is pretty much it, you guys. Uh, next week is the Bobcats questline, and I am going to tell you, once questlines come out, normally that means, especially now, means I'm probably going to be level 24 in the next update. So, that's probably an update video you're probably going to definitely want to tune in for. So that is it. So as always, you guys, remember to keep positive. Happy trails, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye. All right, guys. So I realized I didn't even check main styles on this horse. Now, the Irish cops, I kind of like them the way they are. So that's why I didn't even check. So we're going to go right through here and check out some of the main styles. Trying to see which one I like the most. The braids look interesting. So, these two look the most interesting, so... Oh 
Let's see. We're gonna go with this one, I think. Yeah, I like that one better. Okay. Okay. 